कम बैक ना लेट्स लुक एट एक्ट वन सीन फाइव ऑफ मैकबेथ सो हियर इन वर्नस इज एक्चुअली मैकबेथ कासल द सीन इज टेकिंग प्लेस देयर here in just if we talk about what happens in this scene so macbeth's wife has received a letter from macbeth where he has told her everything about what the spirits had uh, told him or foretold him told about his fortune and how two things had turned out to be true and the last thing that he would be the king uh, he told uh, everything about this to his wife in a letter so after reading the letter she becomes concerned that how will macbeth become the king because he is too kind enough that he will not be able to carry out his plans in order to become the king or murder the king duncan so that he could take the kingdom so finally she here prays to the spirits to make her very cruel hearted so that she can persuade her uh, husband mad bad to carry out the plan of killing the king so since the king had decided in the previous scene that he would go to the castle of mad bad and have dinner there so she is planning that the king will not go back as he would be killed in their house now how does this happen let's see in the scene enter lady mad bad reading a letter so the scene opens when Uh, lady macbeth is reading the letter which macbeth had sent her lady macbeth they met me in the day of success and i have learned by the perfectest report they have more in them that mortal knowledge when i burned in desire to question them further they made themselves air into which they vanished whilst i stood wrapped in the wonder of it came missives from the king who all hailed me thane of cordor by which title therefore these weird sisters saluted me and referred me to the coming one on of time with hail king that shall it be this have i thought good to deliver thee my dearest partner of greatness that thou mightest not lose the dues of rejoicing by being ignorant of what greatness is promised thee so uh, lady macbeth is reading the letter where uh, king uh, sorry the thane of cordor macbeth has told her everything that the witches made me on the day of victory and they told everything about uh, that uh, he would be the king the sorry the thane of cordor and uh, after that he comes to know that they have a supernatural knowledge when he tries to know more about uh, his future from those witches they immediately vanished into the air and he was standing all struck because he wanted to know more about himself and his future so he says that as i stood in awe messengers from the king arrived and they hailed me as thane of cordor which means that the prophecy had turned out to be true the prophecy of the witches just as the witches had previously announced so i thought it was important to share this news to you so that you may come to know what things have happened to me today so that you are not ignorant of the things that are going to happen in future they have also foretold or they have told itself that i would be the king and so they also addressed him as a king so he says that uh, i will come soon so that we both can rejoice in the greatness that is promised to us keep it a secret and farewell uh to thy heart and farewell glamis thou art and cordor and shalt be what thou art promise yet to do i fear thy nature it is too full o milk of the human kindness to catch the nearest way the wouldest be great art not without ambition but without the illness should attend it what the wouldest high now after reading the letter lady macbeth she after reading the letter looks up and says that you are already the uh, thane of glamis and now the thane of cordor and i fear that in order to become a king 
you are highly ambitious but you do not know how to execute your plans because your heart is full of the milk of kindness that means you are very kind hearted and you will not be able to carry out your plans to become the king that which cries thou must do if thou have it and that which rather thou uh, dost fear to do then wishes should be done undone he the either that i may pour my spirits in thine ear and chastise with the valor of my tongue all that impedes thee from the golden crown which fate and metaphysical aid doth seem to have thee crowned crowned with all now she says that uh, the things you want to do you want to do like a good man and you don't want to cheat i know your nature yet you want what doesn't belong to you so she is talking to herself regarding the nature of mad so she says that there is something you want but you are afraid why because your heart is full of so much of human kindness that you will not be able to gain that thing which you want and you will be afraid of trying to get those things so hurry home so that i can persuade you and tell you how to execute the plan in order to get your the title of the king so after all fate and witchcraft both seem to have chosen you as a king now when she was saying all these things to herself immediately a messenger entered what is your tidings messenger the king comes here tonight so she asks the messenger that what is the news that you have brought and the messenger says that today the king duncan is going to come here tonight to your castle very magnet thou art mad to say is not thy master with him who were so would have informed for preparation so lady magnet did not get that information in the letter that king is going to come for the dinner so she says that i think you have gone mad if that was the thing that is going to happen then uh, your master magnet would have already told me and so that i could prepare the dinner before the king arrives messenger so please you it is true our thane is coming one of my fellows had the speed of him who almost dead for breath had scarcely more than would keep make up his message so he says i am sorry but it is true that the king is going to come along with the thane of kodor magbeth he sent a messenger ahead of him uh, who arrived here out of breath so that the message could be conveyed to you lady macbeth give him tending he brings great news so she says that okay take good care of your master i have received the news tell him that now the messenger exits exits then the raven himself is hoarse that croaks the fatal entrance of duncan under my battlements come you spirits attend on mortal thoughts and sets me here and fill me from the crown to, to the top to top full of direst reality make thick my blood stop up the access and passage to remorse so she says that it is a good thing that the king is coming here itself so as the servant has announced the uh, arrival of king duncan into my fortress here he will die he will never go back so she is praying to those spirits who fill humans heart with wickedness she prays them that come and turn my sex more into a male rather than a female make me more cruel deadly in my spirits thicken my blood and clog my veins so that i feel no remorse no sadness when i am going to execute a cruel plan Uh, because if i get human tenderness inside then it can hinder my evil plan that i am going to execute that no compunctions visitings of nature shake my fell purpose nor